some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to a custody suit in Georgia where a uh, female sovereign citizen, well, just doesn't seem to understand the law and uh, gets herself uh, charged with contempt of court and ends up in jail for 10 days. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, you should have gotten yourself a lawyer to help you out with that. Then we have a video straight from 2012 of a, well, sovereign citizen who just just had to get a payoff and demanded $300,000 to get pulled over. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, now we're going to move to Habib versus Bouvier. Bouvier. All right, so remember um, when we last came on this matter, um, there were some issues that had come up that the court was not quite aware of. I don't think I had, I think it may have been the reports. I had not yet read them. Um, and some of the things that were being said, I wasn't familiar with. So I asked everybody to come back so that I can read through those reports and have a better understanding of um, uh, of uh, the backgrounds of everybody. Um, and so I've had a chance to... Your Honor? Oh, okay. Give me. All right. Give me one moment. Okay. Um. So, as I was saying, so the court had an opportunity to to review those. Um, and has a better um understanding of background. Um, I can't remember exactly how far we got. Um, in there, I don't know if Miss Giles even made recommendations at that time. I don't think we got that far, but I'm not sure if you all remember or not. But I have read the recommendations in the report. I don't think we got that far last time, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Um, so the, um, let's see. So let me, let, since I have that background, let me start by calling Ms. Giles. Raise your right hand. Please tell me where our firm testimony about to give in the case is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God. I do. All right. And if you would, um, we have Ms. Bouvier. Ms. Bouvier, you need to turn your video on because we're in the middle of trial. I mean, middle of the, the hearing now. So you have to have your video on. You turn your mic off, but your video needs to be on. Your Honor, for the record, before we proceed this matter, there are some facts I must state um, for the record. I'm here on special restricted appearance as the representative of the descendant. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We all heard it before. I'm the authorized representative for the corporate fiction that is on trial here or whatever the hell you're trying to do, which leaves the question, are you a, a certified lawyer in this particular scenario? Because if you're not, well, then you're pretty much breaking the law at this point by representing this other person uh, at this time. I mean, but if you are this person, then it's okay to come forward and say, I am that person, blah, 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 because you're not going to get yourself into trouble. But yeah, uh, you need to think about these things. And I do not wish to waive any rights, rather statutorial or procedural. And for the record, as the authorized representative, executor, beneficiary, I have demanded a jury trial in regards to this matter. Moving forward for the record, Your Honor, I have filed an amended notice of recusal with an affidavit of, uh, affidavit of fact on May 29, 2024. With all due respect, Your Honor, I have not received a response from you in regards to this notice. Please note for the record, I have presented to this court on special restricted delivery all presentments to date. Moving forward, according to Georgia Code Section 1512-122, in 2020 Georgia Code Section 91138, rights to a jury trial is a reserved right. Well, let's stop right here, right quick, and uh, to try to unpack everything that she's saying at this point. Uh, first of all, it's recusal, not recusal. And uh, why do you want to have the judge 
recuse themselves from this uh, particular hearing. Then there's the matter of uh, the type of hearing this is. This is a custody hearing, which falls under family court, not civil court. You're barking up the wrong tree, lady, so that Georgia Code really doesn't help you out in this particular matter. I suggest you hire a family attorney to help you out in this situation. Then there's the matter of the final code that you just quoted, which still has to do with jury trials, and uh, so is completely irrelevant at this point. So everything you say here is uh, pretty much a moot point and irrelevant. So please carry on. Please note for the record at this time, I do not wish to add nor subtract anything from my present um, presentments, and I stand behind my documents. And at this time, I fully, I respectfully excuse myself from this proceeding to await all notices concerning the trial by jury according to the law. Okay. So um, first, she filed a motion for recusal, which the court denied. Looks like you filed, an, you need to turn your video back on. If you don't turn your video back on, I'm going to have a hearing without you. Okay. So turn your video back on. All right. Um, you filed a, you filed a motion for recusal, which the court reviewed and denied without there being sufficient evidence. I think you filed an amended one, which the court did not receive a copy of. You were supposed to send that to Chambers if you actually wanted me to respond to it. Um, but you filed it via e-file. I'm noticing it now. It's going to be denied for the very same reasons. With regard to your request for an uh, for a trial, this is a custody matter. It cannot be a trial by jury because you can't have a trial by, trial by jury on a custody matter. So that issue would be denied. As for your representation, the court will consider you London Bouvier. That's who you are. That's the, what the court consider you as. If you want to consider yourself as anything else, that'll be up to you. But when I make a decision, it's going to be for your government name, London Bouvier. <laughs> Oh yeah, denied all the way, uh, soft heart. Better luck next time. So you might want to stick around and see how much of a hole you can continue to dig for yourself at this point. And that's what the the the, the law of Georgia is going to hold accountable. So when you don't do what I ask to do, and your representative or whoever you think you might be won't be going to jail. It'll be you, London Bouvier. Okay. So I want to make sure you understand that. So is, is that clear to you? All right, we're going to proceed in these proceedings. If you want to participate, that's up to you. If you don't want to participate, that's up to you. But I am going to make a ruling, and the law will be what the law is. I suggest you should participate so that you can be heard and that the concerns that you have, the court will, will have an opportunity to hear them. That'll be up to you, okay? But if you do participate, you need to have a video on. Ms. Giles? Yes, Your Honor. Start with your recommendation first, and then you can back up with why you made such decision. Sure. And do you, I think we're just here on a limited matter for contempt from that interim order that was entered in April, if I'm correct. And I agree with that. what's in that order, Your Honor, as far as getting visitation started okay, from Elaine on. and Dad. Yeah, hold on. Let me pull back for a second, okay? Because I think I had to go to another... He filed to see those um, sealed orders, but hold on one second. Okay, so there's a, looks like, I, what date was that? The interim order is entered on April 19th. April 19th. So we were here, I think April 16th for the hearing. Okay, let me That's see. Right, yeah. Okay, so I see an amended, I see on April 19th, amended, Parenting plan? So, no, no, uh, Judge. There was we had the hearing, I believe, on the 14th. We we submitted an interim order for a temporary visitation that was signed on the 19th. Yes, signed on the 19th. That's correct, Your Honor. I'm sorry, it was signed on the night the 18th and filed on the 19th. Did you get a copy of it? Obviously. Yes. Yeah, we okay. Let Okay, I apologize. Um, so we there are two things. There's Odyssey that everybody kind of looks at, and then there's Judge's Edition, which is 
how we keep our notes based on a document, which is how, how we operate. I don't know why, but this interim order isn't there. So when I was reviewing the file for this hearing, I didn't see this order. Um, so let me take a quick second to look at it. Thank you. No problem, Judge. Has this order been followed? Is it being no, followed? Your Honor, yeah. that's why we're here. It's not being followed. No. It, no. Right. We filed a contempt on this order on May 7th. Really? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay. I. Okay. I assume I I had thought that this matter was coming back on the calendar because we I continued it from the last matter, but now I understand. Okay, so there is the also the contempt on the interim order. That's right. correct, Your Honor. Got it. I got it. All right. Yeah, all other issues shall remain. Okay. All right. So the order isn't being followed. That's it is not. That's the issue. It, it being followed at all, like no visitation or just being a no visitation at all, Judge. All right, Ms. Bouvier, I've indicated to you once before that your video has to stay on. This will be my last warning to you. Turn your video on, Ms. Bouvier. If I say it again, I'm going to find you in contempt of court. If I say it again, I'm going to find you in contempt. So when, when, when any issue happens before, I'm going to have my deputies come get you, Okay. You turn it off again, I will find you in contempt of court. Oh, come on now, Judge. Don't you realize who you're dealing with? You're dealing with Mrs. Bouvier right here. A soft heart who doesn't believe in the laws of the land. Not any of this uh, justice system crap that you've uh, placed upon her. I mean, why else would she bis be misquoting laws that she has no idea of? what they mean to begin with. So you threatening her with contempt of court is utterly ridiculous because, you know, she doesn't care. She'll go to jail no matter what. And then she'll find a way to try to blame you with it instead of looking in a mirror and blaming herself. All right. So you will spend 10 days in the cab kind of jail. You turn the video off again. Okay. Did you understand Ms. Ms. Bouvier? Did you understand me, Miss Bouvier? Unmute yourself and say so. Miss Bouvier, I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to excuse you from this hearing. I'm going to find you in contempt and I will pick you up. And your child will then go to Mr. Habib. Unmute. I stand behind my documents. For the record, I stand behind my documents. You can stand behind whatever you want. Do not unmute like I asked you. Ms. Marshall, go ahead and remove Ms. Bouvier from these proceedings. Yes, ma'am. I find you in contempt of court. 10 days in the Cab County Jail. Child will be returned to, will be presented to Mr. Habib. These matters will be continued to, thereafter. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. You all have a good day. You too, Your Honor. Oh, yeah. Something tells me that the child will definitely be better off in the care of the father at this point. He, because you know so many times uh, it, it gets ruled in the favor of the mother. But this time, I mean, it was clear that the mother had uh, quite a few issues, which is probably why uh, the guy divorced her to begin with. I mean... Who would want to marry her for a long period of time? I mean, I would, I'd would probably uh, walk away from that, too. So, dude, good luck with your ongoing custody uh, suit with uh, your ex-wife. Uh, may you get that child out of that situation. And hopefully it won't uh, negatively affect the child for the rest of their life. Now, for your viewing pleasure, we will take you back to 2012 where a Sovtard is being chased by the police and will only pull over if they are paid $300,000. Roger, can I have a emergency? Hi, this is Jenna. I don't have the emergency, but the car behind me does. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out what that is because I'm driving 45 on, I believe it's South Penn Road. Okay. And I have a contract with you guys that um, if you want to go ahead and declare a false sense of emergency, it's $300,000 per incident.
Wow, three hundred thousand dollars. That's fairly cheap for a lot of sovereign citizens these days. Uh generally they go up to uh five million or something like that. But it actually depends on the individual Sovtard's uh fee schedule. I mean it could be as little as uh ten thousand silver coins or as much as a hundred million dollars for even the simplest of infractions against them. So we at least know they're still quite delusional now as they were then about uh, all these uh, imaginary fines they like to impose upon the police officers. So, I need to make sure I need to make sure that you guys are willing to pay the, the fee that you already owe before I pull over. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about. What can I do for you? I know you don't, I know you don't, but there is a officer that's apparently affiliated with your agency with his emergency lights on and and his siren on right now, which is a false sense of uh, emergency and if I am not mistaken, there's no sense of emergency. Has there anyone been reported run over? Okay. Or is there anyone been reported hurt? Okay. Because I don't think that they are. Oh man, have you been really kicking back the uh, liquid crayons before you went on this uh, low speed chase, considering that you're using no, the no victim, no crime fallacy? I mean, come on now. There doesn't need to be a victim for a traffic infraction. It is a Minor crime, but still a crime nonetheless. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier that she was driving on a suspended license. So I would imagine that the officer uh pulled that up from the license plate and decided to pull her over. Well, just one of many reasons besides her uh, reckless driving, which she also got charged for. Okay, I'm not running for this cop. I'm doing 40 miles an hour with this cop behind me with his freaking siren on, acting like a moron. Can you okay. please let him know to turn it off because okay, I'm not ma running? Ma'am. <laughs> Can you pull over, no, no, ma'am? Can you pull I'm over for the officer? Over because that's voluntary. That's voluntary. There's no emergency. You already declared that there's no emergency. Yeah. She, if there's not an emergency, then why am I going to pull over? I'm not even speeding. Ma'am, I'm, I'm not the officer. I'm just all I'm telling. I'm all asking you too is just to pull over for the officer. Oh, yes, another officer. Of course, of course, you guys would do this. Of I, course, you guys would do this. This is. Why are you guys doing this? Man. You're trying to run me off the road. That's what are you? Man, what are no, your name? No, I'm asking you. I, my name is Jenna. John Rogers knows all about me. If you guys want to keep contending like this, I'll just go ahead and have John Rogers go ahead and come onto the scene. Hey, man, but can you just pull over for the officer? No, I'm not pulling over because pulling over is voluntary. Why am I going to pull over for you? Uh, you know, someone who doesn't pull over when a police officer asks them to pull over is kind of one of those things that leads to, uh, well, high-speed police chases. And you know what kinds of people really, uh, end up doing that? You know. Morons. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing wrong. You told me there's no emergency. If there's nothing emergency, $300,000, are you ready to pay the $300,000? I am not the officer. Are you ready to pay the $300,000? That's all I want to know. If you guys want to pay the $300,000, then I'll pull over for you. I will pull over for $300,000. That is my offer. I'm asking you to accept it. Ma'am, this is my ma'am, this is nine one one, not the officer, okay? I'm not giving you I'm not giving you the opportunity to make warnings. I'm asking you if you want to incur the three hundred thousand dollars debt. Do you wanna incur it or not? Do you want to incur the three hundred thousand dollar debt or not? I cannot answer that question. Do you want to incur the three hundred thousand dollar debt or not? Ma'am, I cannot answer that question. I'm just asking you to pull but your I'm car over. I'm asking you if you want to incur the three hundred thousand dollar debt or not. What kind of car are you in? Are you wanting to? You're not going to incur the three hundred thousand dollar debt. Ma'am. When there's no emergency, this is all a false state of emergency. Look, dumbass. There doesn't have to be an emergency to pull your sorry ass. Over. You committed a traffic infraction. 
or it was your uh, license issue that sparked the whole thing. You pull over, you get it taken care of, and you move on with your life. You don't act like a complete dumbass and charge $300,000 for your mistakes or your stupidity. Goodness, this is so hilarious. She ran a stop sign because they were chasing her because of her issues. And she's blaming them for uh, running the stop sign because of her own stupidity. And now the speeds have gone up to 90 miles an hour. And she's still blaming them for this whole thing. This is unbelievable. And this is truly what being a soft heart is all about. Not taking responsibility for your own actions and believing that you are somehow above the law. This woman is a perfect example of that. You need to stop this right now. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm the only you way forward to stop. I'm working 33. I'm going to hold you personally accountable. Because I told you that there's no Ma'am, the only way forward to stop
Ma'am, I think you I think you are running from the police. You need to pull over. This has to be one of the most hilariously stupid moments in solved tart history that I have ever seen. Charging $300,000 to stop a police pursuit because you are in the wrong. And still saying the exact same things while she is being taken in. And here is what she was charged with according to the news website that I found this on. Man, oh man, oh man, I would love to find out what happened to her all these years later. That would be an interesting uh, case study right there to see if she still invested her time and patience into this dead end of a uh, lifestyle choice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.